Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Dr. Mario's Lab. Now, if that name seems familiar, it is because this game is actually a fan made horror game based off Nintendo's beloved mascot Mario. So, in this video, we're going to be playing through Dr. Mario's Lab. We're going to be seeing what a Mario horror game is all about. Of course, there have been a few before but I think this is one of the first to be in like true 3D. So I'm quite excited to jump in and play this, sit back, relax, and let's check out Dr. Mario's lab. Oh, we got the classic sort of uh, pipe sound there. We've just come down the pipe. Mario is just exploring above in the Mushroom Kingdom and then he falls down this pipe and suddenly he's like, what, why am I in this creepy basement area? But you know, he's Mario, he's gotta save the day. So we hustle, we push forward. Well, let's check this out. We got a note. Dear Luigi, I finally completed medical school and started my own lab. I'm treating Bowser's minions, hoping to make a positive change in the Mushroom Kingdom. I know we don't see each other as often, but I hope you understand, and that's from Mario. So we're playing as Luigi, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Control to crouch and through the pipe. Oh, I was hoping we get sucked through it. You guys seen that Mario movie that came out recently? I've kind of uh, on a bit of a Mario high from watching that. Patient log 17. The piranha plants have undergone a new experimental treatment. Initial results are promising, but there are some unusual side effects. I must continue to monitor and refine the process. Note to self, avoid pipes with serum leaks. Okay, so avoid the pipes with leaks. Why? What happens? Oh, okay, got a piranha plant. So yeah, he wasn't lying. The piranha plants uh, have indeed morphed. Looks like we've got to collect three coins as well, guys, at the top there. So we don't want to step on the serum that's leaked out these pipes. We want to kind of sneak around them and just avoid at all costs, right? Hello, piranha plant. Don't mind us. We're just going to sneak through this pipe. Ooh, we got a coin and a note. All right. And another note. Man, there's a lot of note reading in this game. Okay, here we go. We're just going to sneak round. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh my god, what the heck? How did that get me? I thought I was sneaking perfectly then. Nope, obviously not. Let's go again. Okay, let's try this again. This time we're going to be a bit slower. We're going to make sure that we're not touching any of that stuff on the ground. I'm lined up perfectly here. I'm not touching anything. I didn't touch anything. There we go. We got a gold coin, guys. Awesome. And we've got another note. I seem to have mislaid my coins. I'm pretty sure I had a total of nine, three on each level of a lab. Why am I writing this down instead of looking for these coins? This is probably from Mario. I'm not going to do a Mario voice because, quite honestly, I just can't, guys. No! What the heck? Okay, that... Guys, this is so sensitive. You, like, go close to that serum and you're just a, a goner. Sometimes I feel like maybe it's not clearly labelled enough on the ground there because I didn't feel like I was touching any. Okay, we made it, guys. We've got past the first lot of pipes. Now, I could go there to get the notes, but you know what? I don't want to risk it because this is so temperamental. I'm just going to head to the next area. Screw trying to mess with those piranha plants. Now, we've already got... Oh, my God. We've got loads here. Loads of goop and serum on the floor. How are we going to do this? Are we meant to just go through the middle of this area? Okay. So far, so good. We've got to get the coin there, though, man. What the heck? Will I get grabbed if I go through this bit? No, I'm fine. Okay, good. Alright, which pipe do we head through next? This one? I think so. We're going through this pipe. Where's the last coin? There's a note over there. Right, there's no... There's nothing there, man. Oh, the piranha plant can come down. Okay. Maybe if I just go around like this, we're safe. Let's grab this note. Lately, I feel like I'm not alone in the lab. A strange presence seems to be lurking in the shadows, but I can't put my finger on it. Okay. Well, obviously something's happening. Do we jump down? Yeah, we got two or three coins. Oh, okay, so we missed a coin back there. Don't know how. Oh my God, we got a chomp and chain thing. Patient log 32, the Chain Chomp's transformation was unexpected. It became more aggressive and developed a taste for blood. 
I don't know how this happened, but I must find a way to reverse the process. I have obtained a bomb buddy just in case. Okay, got a bomb and a chain chomp. Well, there's a chain chomp. So what are we doing here? Oh, okay. We can light that up. Nice. Oh, can we uh, do anything with this giant block? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. All right, what do we do here? Shift to sprint. Oh man, we're gonna have to run past this thing. Run, 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 run. Okay, you almost got us there, buddy. Not to worry. We survived. Here's our first coin. So we missed one coin in the first area. I'm not going back for it because those piranha plants literally took me about 20 tries to get past. One of the most frustrating things I've ever played on the channel, guys, that first area. I almost gave up on recording this game. So now, we're just gonna run. Go, 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 go. Oh, nice. We got another note. The dark force has taken over. I can no longer control my actions or the experiments. The patients are becoming monstrous. I keep having dreams about frogs and vegetables, but I can't understand why. Maybe it's about Toad, right? Ooh, light this up. Light this up. And light this up. Does that do anything, though? I'm guessing, like, we're meant to light those up for some reason. Go, 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 go! Run! Oh, not this time. Little chain chomper. Beware the darkness. It consumes all. The lab is a trap. There is no escape. Man, that is sinister. Oh, the bomb! Can we do anything with you, my friend? Nope. We can knock him around. Am I meant to do something with the bomb? Well, he's stuck there now, so if we do need him, it's a bit redundant. Uh, yeah, can't grab that guy. You're gonna have to leave him. Go! Go, 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 go! Ah! Ha uh ha! -huh. Hit your head, didn't you? He's famous for hitting his head. We need another coin. Surely there's got to be one around here somewhere. Ooh, upstairs. Nice. What the heck? Right, we'll turn that off because that was annoying and scary. You know, that's kind of freaking me out a little bit. The little chain chomper is like, but that was the only entertainment I had in this entire place. Now I've got no music, no friends. Screw you. Ah! Oh man, I thought he was going to bite us then for uh, turning his sounds off. Wow. I hate those things in Mario 64. They used to terrify me. We've got all three though, guys. All three coins in this area. So now, I'm guessing... Oh, 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 oh. Alright, we're, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. So this is the first room again. What do we do now, though? We came down from there. We need to find the pipe that leads out of this place, I think. I'm going to try and push this bomb out, guys. I've managed to get it unstuck. I'm going to see if we push this out, if it actually uh, will destroy the little chomping chain in the middle there. Come on, we've got a bomb for you. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Yes, we got him. And there's the pipe to escape. So we did need that little bomb. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god, it's a giant Mario. What the heck? Um, we've got to avoid these things. And we've got to avoid Mario. Okay, okay, okay. This is kind of mad. This is kind of mad. Do we need to go up here? I feel like we need to go up here. Oh my god, Mario's there. Mario, please don't eat us. Or crush us. We're Luigi, we're your brother. No, I fell down. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're going to die. We're going to die. Yep, yeah, we're going to die. Please say we don't have to restart from the beginning. No, we, we restart from here, guys. <laughs> that was good. I was a bit worried there. Let's get a good look at Mario, then, if we can restart from here. Okay, look at him. Giant Mario, man. That is terrifying. That's close as well. Almost got crushed. Oh, the prana plant got us. 
Okay, we've had a good look at Mario. Now I'm going to try and survive. We're going to get a perfect run. Well, I say that. Maybe we won't get a perfect run. But we're going to jump across these pits. And we're going to try and navigate all the way to the end. Go, go. Navigate around these things. Right, let's go. Come on, jump. Jump, Luigi. Up. Up. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? There's another one. No. That's actually hard, guys. We've got to do some platforming there. It's like a proper Mario game. I didn't expect that, to see all those little like platforms. I kind of just leapt to our death. Because <laughs> I was like, well, I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, now, now here it goes, guys. The moment of truth. Can I leap across? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. We've got a note. Is this... Oh, Mario Chases! How am I meant to read the note then? Literally, how do I read that note, guys? Hopefully you could have read that, because I'm not going to uh, stop to read that again. <laughs> it's a bit silly that it doesn't, like, pause the game when you read a note or something, you know? If you can, like, die during a chase sequence. Because it took me ages to get to the end of this chase sequence. Now I've got to do it all over again. Can we do it again? The painfully impossible jumps. I'm going to press this button, guys. Yes! We blew him up. He fell down. Did Mario turn into one of his own experiments? Now we can read the notes. Now it makes sense why these notes are here. <laughs> Before it didn't. Okay, so the first note says Research Log 56. I've been experimenting with a Mega Mushroom hoping to enhance its properties. My goal was to create a more potent version for therapeutic purposes. However, the modifications have resulted in unforeseen consequences. The subject exposed to the new Mega Mushroom exhibited extreme aggression and addiction. I need more. Alright. I'm guessing this is Mario still writing these notes. We just sort of took care of him. Mario, I'm coming to find you. I won't let this darkness take you away from me. We'll face it together like we always have. P.S. Have you seen any frogs around? There's something oddly familiar about this. There's a carrot. Guys, I'm maybe I'm missing something there? <laughs> this is strange. This is probably for the hardcore Mario fans. I'm more of a casual, you know. I play a little bit of Mario here and there. I liked Mario 64. Mario Sunshine, stuff like that. Anyway, guys, um, we're going down now. It says, the puppet has fallen. The master remains, waiting for a new vessel. The nightmare has begun. Oh, it's Wario. So that means Wario was behind everything, and he was using Mario as his puppet in the lab. And then he lured Luigi to the lab to try and save his brother, but of course, Luigi just fell into Wario's trap. So Wario's behind everything, it's not even Bowser, it's Wario that's been orchestrating this whole sort of plan in the lab, creating these monsters. Interesting, a little twist on the story there, on where I thought it was perhaps going. Can't really say too much about this, of course, because it is a fan game, it's not like canon to the Mario timeline or anything like that. I don't think Nintendo would sign off on this one. Anyway guys, as you can see, we've done two or three on those two levels and three or three on the middle level. I don't know if getting all the coins unlocks something. Okay guys, so I checked and there wasn't any other endings. Just, I guess, the satisfaction of saying I've collected everything. But I don't really care about that. I'm never playing that Piranha Plant level again. It was broken. <laughs> you know, you couldn't even, like, navigate between the lines half the time. I think the room for error there was so slight that it just became frustrating to play. Outside of that, this was a really fun fan game. And so hats off to the person that made this. Uh, obviously, there will be a link down below if you want to check it out for yourselves. But either way, guys, it was a fun little game to play on the channel today. Hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough. Just wanted to get a short little Let's Play up for you today as I've been recording so many long ones recently, like Amnesia and Daydream Forgotten Sorrow and the Grey Hill Incident. They're all, like, several hours long and I had to edit them all down. And this one was just a nice change of pace, being recording for about 25 minutes or so. And, you know, a lot of that was my times dying. It's going to make a nice short video today for you guys. And hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like. Comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.